Now we're going to look at print and print preview feature here. So to get started with, we can start with our print. We've got my design done up here. You don't have to have your design done to print. You can just be close, be started, whatever. Whenever you need to print, you can come up here and select your properties from your whichever uh, unit you want to print to. Select your page range if you want to print everything. Um, your page range is going to be your views down here. This is your page. So view one through five right now, it'll print all of them. Um, you can print to file if you want to just save it on your desktop somewhere or somewhere in your computer. Uh, if you click OK here, it's going to start printing. Actually, it may not start printing for me because um, I don't have my printer turned on, so I'm going to get a little, little grumpy message here in a second. Okay, I paused for a second got rid of the grumpy message. Okay, so that would be print, and that's going to print off all of your views down there. If you don't want to print all those views, you can change your page selection, or you can use print preview. I recommend you use print preview anyways. Um, it just gives you a little bit more control over what you're going to see. So click on print preview. comes up with a page format. We're going to walk through this step by step here. So page format. This jumps into your printer settings, and you can set whatever your printer settings allow, because we actually use your printer driver for this. There's not a generic Pro Kitchen printer driver here, so we use your own printer settings. So if you're printing on, you know, 11 by 17 paper or whatever, I can't. Obviously, I don't have a big, a big printer like that. Um, but if you did have a big printer and we're printing to your 11 by 17. You would just select it in here. Just going to leave mine on letter. Source, you can just leave it automatic, but you may have different sources there um, depending on your printer. You can change your portrait and your landscape here. You can set your margins here. You know, my margins are kind of, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to know how, can, how those margins are set the way they are. And just come in here and enter the value you want. And click OK. Takes you back to your page format page. Print scale. Here we can, uh, and this is going to be, you know, your image. You want your image to fit to page. Um, do you need it in a particular ratio? Sometimes it's nice. Sometimes the developers like to have it in a particular ratio. So you can print it off that way. Um, uh, print area. Do you want to print just the entire design or do you want to print just what you're looking at on the design? Um, entire design is, is probably the most popular use of it, but say you need to do a close-up of a corner. You can zoom in over here on the design, of course, before we open the print preview. You can zoom into that corner and then you just click on display. That way you're just going to print what you're seeing on your screen. Um, page range. Um, all views. This is going to give you all of your plan views down here, plus any elevations that you may have. Now, plan views, it's just going to print our views, view one through five. Current view, that's going to print, you know, if you have some of these views down here turned off, or what's showing on your screen, if you only have that one, that's going to print that. Elevation views, that's going to print just your elevations. I like to use selected views. Click on Selected Views. I hit Browse. Going to show me all of my views, so I can choose whichever view I want. I may have special notes or something special in these other views that I want a picture of as well, so I can print those off. Elevations. I can choose which elevations I want to print. I'll do all three of them here. Now I'm going to click on OK, and it's going to bring me back here. Um, stamp form, print stamp, and grayscale. So Stamp form, um, if you've printed off Pro Kitchen before, you know there's a little on the bottom of your page, there's a little thing down there that, that has a disclaimer and stuff like that in it. You can turn it off if you by unchecking here, or you can check here to print everything in grayscale if you don't want any color. Stamp form, if we come over here, here we can change all the information that shows up on our design. Um, probably going to want to leave the name the way it is. Um, our design field name, kind of, you know, you want to leave the height a quarter inch on that so that you can see all that stuff. 
Um, date field, we can change all of how that shows up on there. Logo, you can set your own logo in here just by clicking on Browse. Now uh, your logo will need to be in a JPEG format. Text, you can come in here and change this text. This is just some text that, that we've worked out for it, but feel free to uh, personalize this. You can put whatever in there you need. And text two, the same way, you can personalize this. Um, once you set it in here, you can save it, and that way it will print that way on all of them. So we're just going to go ahead and hit OK. But now we've got some other options down here. Preview, that's going to show us what everything looks like. Here we go. Preview on that. Squish that guy up. Maybe it'll help for the next one. Reset. That'll reset it to Pro Kitchen defaults. And uh, we're just going to hit OK. I've got all this set the way I want to now. And I'm going to hit OK. And here's my print preview. In my print preview, you can see we're offset here a little bit. Maybe I don't like that. So I come up here and click on Mover. Yeah, right. There we go. I guess I have to be patient and wait for it to catch up with me. And we can move it around the way you want it. Maybe I want my ratio a little bit bigger. You got arrows up and down on two of them here. This first one is inches. So you'll see we went from to one and five sixteenths all of a sudden. A little bit big. Then zoom it back out. We go up in small increments here. Here we're at three eighths. Still fits on my page pretty well, so that's probably the way I would optimize this page. Um, you can zoom in and zoom out. That is only zooming in in your view. That's not changing anything in the way you print it. Um, you can close it. You can save this to file. Um, save to file then will save all of your images here. Let me scroll down so you can see that there are elevations in here as well. Save to file would save this in a JPEG in a PDF format. Saves it in PDF and uh, that way you can simply grab this and email the, these images off to your customer. And then of course there's print. Um, but you can go through each one of these with your mover and move this down, you know, get it centered up so you have a nice presentation. The you only know, time your presentation can be better than the other guy's presentation just points in your book for the customer. So, And when you get it all set the way you want it, print, save to file, whatever is necessary.